Mr. Woodcroft certainly knew how to help. I didn't keep you waiting, did I? Not at all. I was just at the post office. Gran told me to expect a package, but it looks as if she forgot to send it. She didn't send me an owl this week either. Perhaps she's busy with her research. What was she sending you? Only some feed she's been developing. I was going to give it to Professor Howen for the measles. What kind of research is she doing? It varies from week to week, but it's always to do with creatures. Last week she was studying leg knots in plimpies. What did you find out about the dragon you were tracking? I realised that she didn't know the poachers had her egg, so when she left Horntail Hall, she would have headed straight to her nest. I went back to the tent and tracked her flight. How do you track a dragon long after she's gone? Tree canopies, burn marks, things like that. Well done. You certainly know what you're doing. I can't be certain, but I have an idea of one place she may have been heading. I thought we might go and see it for ourselves. Of course. Shall we leave now? If that's all right, I want to see how she's faring if she had a collar on. And she's likely frantic about her egg. Here we are. I do think this is where we'll find her. The terrain's typical of where the breed would nest. I suspect it's how the poachers found her to begin with. They likely camped here and logged her patterns. Perhaps nabbed her first and then her egg. Dragons are hard enough to wrangle, let alone maternal ones. You got all of that from simply standing here? You'd be surprised how easy it is to think like a poacher. Shall we see if she's home? We only need to return her egg. That sounds straightforward enough. We should be in and out. Then we can be finished with the poachers once and for all. I don't suppose you've thought about keeping it, have you? No. It belongs to her. Keeping it will make me just as bad as the poachers. If you're right about finding her here, how do we go about returning the egg? Her nest will likely be in the heart of her den, which she will be keeping guard over. It might also be more charred than anywhere else, I imagine. Well then, let's find our dragon and return her egg. Wonderful. If she sees us flying about, she might take it as a sign of aggression or food. We should stay on foot. Oh, and one more thing. Let's not agitate her. Goodness knows she's been through enough already. I'm ready when you are. <gasps> what I there she is, above us. She did make it home safely. Oh, good. It looks as if she wasn't collared like the other dragons. For what it's worth, she doesn't seem to have spotted us yet. Let's... At least until we've done what we came to do. I wonder how many they brought to capture. Traffickers don't tell us. At least ten, usually. I see the bridge wasn't spared her wrath either. Ribeiro. Fantastic. Hmm, I wonder how good her eyesight is. 
I beg your pardon? I don't imagine the poachers fed her well. And from a distance, we probably look exactly like sheep to her. How oh, lucky for us. Watch your step. Just raring for a fight. when it's safe. Watch out! It's her domain. She'll make sure we know it. Suppose she listened to reason. I'd normally try, but we're well past. That. Get to that opening below her. Repair room. Now, if we just return her egg, we can hopefully make it out without too much fuss.
That was brilliant. And did you see how clever? She left us perfectly unharmed. Creatures are a lot cleverer than most people realize. That's what Gran always says. The important thing is that we survived it. And we returned her egg. Thank you for doing this with me. Wouldn't blame you one bit if you wanted to head back to the castle and never think about dragons again. I was hoping to look around for a moment, if you don't mind. Take it all in. I suppose we could catch our breath. I wonder how long she lived here. Revelio. She'll go now. I can't believe any of what just happened. Still taking it all in? No. I think I'm ready to leave if you are. I am. After our dragon rescue at Hauntel Hall, I half expect to be ambushed by poachers any time I'm not in the castle. Understandable. We did sabotage their fighting ring and steal a dragon egg from them. True. True. So why haven't they come after us? It's not like them to let things lie. Unless... Unless what? Unless they haven't let things lie. Oh no, I can't believe I didn't see it. We need to leave. I need to send an owl. Look. You think no Hello, nice to meet you. Welcome, I am Bernard Indiai, and this is my shop. Is there anything I can help you with? I'm curious to know what's happening in Feldcroft. Might you have any insight? An incredibly unpleasant goblin called Belgroff the Bludgeoner has been tormenting everyone he encounters. Feldcroft borders goblin country, but we've always lived in peace with their kind. Until recently, that is. Some claim that Belgroff and his associates are in league with Ranrock. I don't know if there's truth to it. Whatever the case, their constant meddling is devastating business. Everyone feels unsafe. It's quite serious. What do you sell here? Glad you asked. I sell the finest array of beast byproducts you'll find in the entire countryside. If you don't believe me, feel free to look about. Eventually you'll return. They always do. What brought you to own a shop in Feldcroft? Beautiful place, isn't it? Although I admit I didn't choose it. It chose me. I was raised here. It's always been my home. As for the shop, I suppose my line of work chose me as well. I've always loved working with beasts. And my twin girls adore them. Wouldn't be surprised if they took over from me one day. You're here. Good. Sebastian, that relic you mentioned... I believe one of Slytherin's students stumbled upon the relic during an assignment to study sarcophagi in this catacomb. From what I read in a report by the student, they weren't permitted to take it with them, so I must assume it's still here. As I mentioned earlier, this relic grants its holder the power to reverse dark magic curses. If it's in this catacomb, I have to find it. For Anne. I need to see her. I'd be interested to know what else the student discovered. Have a look. Unfortunately, there's no name on it. 
but I suspect if it was important enough for Slytherin to stash in his spellbook, it's worthy of further study. I'm ready to explore the catacomb. Perhaps we can visit Anne when we've finished. Perfect. By the way, Ominous has been asking about you. You didn't tell him what we were doing, did you? I didn't. I promise. Good. Ominous would be livid if he knew what we were about to do. I'll be interested to compare what lies inside to what I've read about this catacomb. I'm sure that foul smell is... Success. Lumos! Try not to lose your nerve just yet. I'll be quieter than a jobber knob. Was it? Incendium. Incendium. Yeah, spiders aren't insects. Don't start. Accio. Opening all of these is tempting. We're here for a reason. I'd say opening them all is justified. This room is taller than it looks. Accio! Wingardium Leviosa! Finding a chest in an inconspicuous loft. Brilliant. Accio! Watch your step. I nearly slipped there. Bombarder! Confringo! Brigade! Stoop to All this grass, it no longer feels like a tomb. I've read about catacombs that underwent expansion efforts and ran into problems, often cave-ins. And then were abandoned. Exactly. We'll be fine, though.
Now this is the sort of great room I want to be buried in. Surrounded by grandeur. Grandeur and then some. Even an altar with Bombarder. a... Bombarder! Lovely. Bones outside a sarcophagus. Seems odd. Accio! We've made it this far, but clearly we have more to do. Find a safe way across. Accio, Lumos. Lumos. Accio. Lumos. Accio. Lumos. Accio. Guardian Leviosa. Lumos. Rickety bone bridge complete. Also. Lumos. There's something here by the altar. What did you find? Accio! 
Assume eerie sounds come with the territory. Accio! Looks like part of a student's diary. It mentions plans to return for the relic and conjuring barricades using bones. Of course. The student's summary referenced the space beyond the Great Room, which means this can't be a dead end. Let's divide and conquer. You work on sorting out the bone barricades. I'll look around and see what we missed. Hold on to that diary entry. There may be more to it. It does mention something else. It says their next assignment was learning the Imperius Curse. Really? Interesting. We need to focus on moving beyond this room. But let me think for a moment. Do you think the pages were left here on purpose? Slytherin mentioned a student who excelled in charms and always carried a satchel stuffed full of notes. They might have been left on purpose, or the student may have simply dropped them. Of course. I'll start to search for those barricades. Brilliant. There's more to this than even I imagined. Before we trudge on further, I've just realized something. The student's diary mentions the Imperious Curse. I wouldn't be surprised if we're going to need it here. It's an unforgivable, but useful when you're outnumbered. Places the victim completely under the caster's control. So, if you'd like to learn Imperio, I can teach you. Where did you learn the Imperio's curse? I taught myself. Don't tell Ominous that I've told you. It's not exactly something I can brag about, but it may come in handy. I think you ought to know it. Shouldn't I know more about what the curse entails? Remember the Blasting Curse? Same idea, except when it comes to unforgivable curses, your intention has to be clear. You have to mean it. It's probably wise to know the spell. I couldn't agree more. A spell that could save your life shouldn't be unforgivable. You have a lot at stake. You have an ability that evidently no one's seen for centuries. Focus your wand movement. It's not an easy spell to master. Go. Something troubling ahead. Be on your guard.
Incendio. Dramatic, isn't it? Incendio. Akio. This catacomb has suffered decay. Just as the student summary described. I doubt anyone's been here in quite some time. Another barricade. Considering how well you did on the lawn, be a cinch. Akio! <laughs> how gracious of you. I try. That worked. Keep going. Keep in them. It's in here.
You are head and shoulders above these bones. Nicely done. I see why Slytherin's student was so entranced with this place. Revelio. Dead end. Lovely. All that for nothing. Hold on. Don't give up yet. Sebastian, the relic, look. Could it be? The note and rendition of the relic, it matches. This must be where the student left the relic. I can't believe it. After all this, it lines up. We've really found it. What do you suppose is meant by the dark sacrifice required to realize the relic's potential? I have no idea, but we're here for the relic. I'm willing to ignore what the journal entry says. We're taking the relic. Agreed. This is meant to be. For Anne's sake, I'm taking it. Let's get to Feldcroft. I must keep this relic secret, especially from my uncle. Is that ominous? Ominous. The sounds we kept hearing. It was you. You gave me no choice. I had to follow you. Sebastian, please, leave the relic alone. We can find another way to help Anne. I'm sorry, Ominous, but I'm taking it. No, you're not. If you won't put it back, then I will. Hold on, both of you. Sebastian, please, take a step back. Fine, but Ominous knows I won't step back from a fight. I can't believe this. How much did you hear? Everything. I heard you encourage Sebastian to take the relic. 
Sebastian's done his research. He knows what he's doing. Sebastian makes things sound easy when they could be impossible or dangerous. We need to stop him. And if nothing will change his mind? Something has to. I need your help. Sebastian's right. We need that relic. I'm sorry. My mind is made up. Are you willing to sacrifice your friendship over this? I might be. How could I choose to stand by and watch him do this? What if the choice wasn't yours? You wouldn't be to blame for what happens. What in the world are you suggesting? Imperium? That's what I'm saying. I would take all responsibility. This could save your friendship. I know how to cast it. Sebastian taught me. But I won't do it unless you agree. This is insanity. I can't believe you would ask this of me. Sebastian is never going to give up trying to cure Anne. If you try and stop him now, he'll never forgive you. I'm... I... fine. This is unfathomable. But I suppose if you want that responsibility, it may just save what is left of of my friendship with Sebastian. Remember, this is what I was telling you about the Dark Arts. They come with a cost. You may well regret making this choice. Do what you have to do. Cast it. Before I change my mind. Imperial! Step aside, Ominous. Stay in place until we're out of sight. I will. Sebastian, come on. What did you do? Imperion, it was the only way to get out of here without a fight. Ominous, I'm sorry. Sebastian, we have to go. Did we do the wrong thing? You need the relic. I know. But not like this. Ominous and I agreed. Surely there's a difference between casting Imperial on someone without their knowledge and casting it with permission. I understand what you're saying. I do, but... I've taken full responsibility. You have my word. How long will the spell last? How long must Ominous stay in the tomb? The curse is lifted already. He'll easily find his way out of the catacomb just as we did. He'll be all right, Sebastian. When we get to Feldcroft, I'd rather Anne not know what had to be done to get this relic. 
She thinks like ominous. It did only upset her. Oh no, this isn't good. What is it? Smoke, over there, by the hamlet. Delcos in trouble. They're under attack. Let's hurry. Not quite. Sister. With an unforgivable curse. From that damned book, no doubt. Your father would be ashamed. You've gone too far, Sebastian. Stay away from her. From all of us. <laughs> what did my uncle expect me to do? The Imperious Curse saved Anne's life. That goblin was going to kill her. You did what you had to do. If I have to keep proving that to my uncle, I will. He cannot banish me from my own home. From my sister. It might be best to let him calm down a while. May I speak to him? Perhaps I can help to ease the tension a bit. You may be right. Very well. Probably best if I get away from here for a while. I'll head back to Hogwarts. Repairer! What was he thinking? Pardon me, Mr. Sallow. What Sebastian did was inexcusable. You cannot possibly be about to defend him. Sebastian and I have encountered Ranrock's loyalists before. That goblin would have killed Anne. This family does not resort to using dark magic even against our enemies. What Sebastian did cannot be undone. That you are defending Sebastian's behavior at all 
tells me everything I need to know. You are as guilty as he is. Sebastian is to come nowhere near Feldcroft, nowhere near Anne. Unforgivable curses are so named for a reason. If I hear that either of you continues down this path, if either of you uses dark magic, I will notify the headmaster immediately. Why, Sebastian? <laughs>